Hello, this is Matthew Mead and this is a quick review of the new user features contained within Access Camera Station 5.38. There's lots of improvements within this release, so please refer to the release notes to gain a full understanding of what's contained within the release. Let's take a look at some of the main improvements contained within this release. Here is a door dashboard. This is part of the inbuilt access control secure entry. The door dashboard gives the live status of the connected door. Here I've generated a door forced alarm and we can see that is presented on the screen. The door dashboard also shows if the door has been opened or closed. Here we now show the last person that has been granted access as well as the current person who is entering the building. We also hold a list of the last five transactions associated with the door. Also, if there is something suspicious or we want to save for an investigation later, we can mark this and come and find these events in the saved transactions. Two other items that are worth mentioning is that we can now use IP readers which means we can use the card reader contained within the A8207 video intercom. And you can also encrypt the communication between the A1601 door controller and the A4020 readers by using OSDP secure channel. A new integration we've made is with the Axis license plate verifier ACAP. If you have a camera connected to Access Camera Station with this ACAP, you will be able to see the number plates generated within Data Search. And you can also search for specific license plates and see the associated video. Note here, we're showing the dark theme, which will automatically be selected if that's your preferred Windows theme. Another ACAP integration that is now available is the integration to the Axis Auto Tracking ACAP. If you have this ACAP installed on a PTZ camera and it's been enabled, green detection boxes will be shown on moving objects. You can click on these and the PTZ camera will track and follow the object. Note, the analytics boxes are not shown within the replay of the video. There is also another mode where you can set a zone and objects moving into that zone will automatically be tracked. The final element that I'd like to show you is the ability to access the device's web interface through Access Camera Station. In the past, you've had a simple set of configuration available to you via Access Camera Station, but now by clicking on the IP address of the device, you can enter the full configuration of the device. This will also be available when you're remote as Access Camera Station acts as a proxy. So this is really valuable as an, for an integrator who needs to make some changes to set up a system. So here you can see I'm remote, I'm connected via secure remote access as you can see at the bottom left and I've dialed in and I've added a privacy zone. When I return to the live, you can see the privacy zone has been applied. So this makes it really effective and efficient when configuring systems remotely. Thank you for watching.